Can you believe it has been almost three years since I started making Notion content? I cannot believe it. In the spring of 2021, I discovered Notion and it changed my life. Uh, obviously, I have talked about it more on this channel than any other topic. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you nine reasons why I still use Notion three years in as an ADHDer who struggles to stick to any type of software and why that is. So the nine reasons that I've kept and maintained my Notion um, over the past couple of years. Let's go back a little bit though. I wanna kind of share my story of even how I started using Notion because a lot of people don't know, maybe they've, they've just recently joined my channel and they don't know all the history. But before 2021, I had tried a ton of different software. The first one I think I ever tried that was similar was probably Trello, probably all the way back in like 2016, 2017. From there, I, I, I just didn't love it though. It, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So I tried other ones like Asana and uh, ClickUp. And the, mo the one I was using right before Notion was Airtable, which is very similar to Notion in some ways. It was, it was more like Notion than like ClickUp. So I was kind of moving towards the direction of Notion without even realizing it. And I actually had two different people that introduced Notion to me. Number one was a, a YouTuber by the name of, of Ali Abdal. Um, he actually is a huge YouTuber, big in the productivity space, and I've been watching him for a while. He always mentioned Notion and I didn't really, I'd never heard of it. And so I just, that was kind of in the back of my mind. I'd heard of it and I was like, I don't know what that is. And then a girl that I actually was friends with on Clubhouse, who actually ran an ADHD space with me, told me that she used Notion when I mentioned I use Airtable. And I was like, oh, Notion, like, I think Airtable's better. Back then I was like all in on Airtable. And then one day I think I just kind of was like, you know what, I'm going to check it out. I think I was overwhelmed by the idea of switching to another software after switching so many times, but maybe 10, 15 minutes into really understanding what Notion could do, I was floored. I was completely, completely overwhelmed by the ideas of how I could use this. And I switched immediately. Uh, I absolutely fell down the rabbit hole of Notion content. I started watching all the people on YouTube. Marie Poulin, for example, is someone I watched. But honestly, the main person that I learned from was August Bradley. His system was the one that made the most sense to me. And so I have kind of, in, um, a lot of those things that he has taught, I've kind of in, incorporated into my own systems. So for me, learning through YouTube was a great way to do things, but this is something I've never told anyone. I actually don't watch Notion content anymore. I haven't watched Notion content in at least a year or two because I don't wanna be influenced by other Notion creators. I love the Notion creators, I think they're awesome, um, but I just don't watch a lot of Notion content because I want my content to be original. But I did learn at the at very beginning. And if you are new to Notion, I did wanna mention, I do have my Notion Foundations All Access bundle, as well as all the stuff below if you need any help with Notion. I just wanted to share that. So why did I switch to Notion? Why do I use Notion? This is a question that I get asked all the time. Like, what do you use Notion for? Why did you pick it over the other apps? And I haven't done a video like this in a long, long time, especially not ever after using it for three years. So I thought I would walk through the nine reasons I, again, as an ADHD or as someone who is a, in a marketing, why I chose Notion and why I've stuck with it for so long when most people give up after like a month. So let's just get into my top nine reasons and let's go into it. Make sure to subscribe for more, join my Facebook groups, all the stuff below. Okay, so the number one main reason that I use Notion is the structure of Notion. Um, the fact that you can embed and see different views, it's done very much so like a, a wiki. Um, the fact that you can open and close different tables and databases, all six of the different database views, that's honestly the main reason I use Notion over other apps. Um, a lot of the other apps that I had seen were very, very, very structured in the way that they were set up and you couldn't move things around at all. There was absolutely no flexibility. This can be a catch 22 with Notion though. Sometimes the more options you have, you tend to get analysis paralysis and overload of I can do whatever I want, right? So this can be a double-edged sword. This can be something that can be a little bit scary at first. What I've learned, and this is something that I've taught some, to some of my people is, I don't worry about the aesthetics, I just worry about functionality and making sure that it works for me. You do want it to look cute so that you're you know, opening up 
notion and wanting to use it. But for me, it's more the practicality of, I don't want to spend all my time making everything perfect, making everything great. I use literally the icons that come with notion. I don't add any additional images. I really just mostly focus on uh, link databases, relational views, and just really putting all the information in that's actually necessary for me to use it efficiently. So for me, Notion is not a fun tool. It's a practical tool that I use in my everyday life. Now, if I was comparing this to other apps, um, you know, when I was using Airtable before, they didn't have the ability, and maybe they do, I haven't used it in two years, to embed things like any type of iframe, or for example, if I wanted to embed a, a widget, you can't really do that in Airtable. You can't really do that in ClickUp. You can't really do that in Trello. You can't bring in other apps um, into like your da dashboard or anything um, to customize it in any way. So for me, having Notion as this structure that it's basically like a free form, uh, almost website builder, if you think about it. It's kind of like a way that you can literally make a choose your own adventure of how you want to see your dashboard. Now, again, this can be too much for people, and so they want something simpler, and they choose Asana or Trello or, or whatever, you know, Monday.com, whatever it is. That's fine. For me personally, and this is the thing I want to reiterate, I have a different brain than other people. You might not have the same brain as me, and that's okay, but this is what works for me and for people that maybe think like me. I want to provide resources for you so that it takes away all the time that you have spent trying to figure it out for yourself. I'm just trying to save you time. And as an ADHDer, I'll be honest, I don't use it every single day of my life. Like I probably use it at least once a day, but like some days I'll use it for several hours and some days I'll use it for five minutes. But for me, again, it's a place where I store a lot of information more than anything. Um, there are some active things in there, but for me, it's really a garage more than it is a car if that makes sense. And I have that as part of my system with my status framework. I use it as a place to house a lot of things and it's not always a working doc, not always. Okay, so the number two reason that I continue to use Notion is that it's really built for an individual. Sometimes some of these platforms out there, like even things like monday.com, it's just business focused and it's mostly built for teams. A lot of these are built for teams. If you look at some of the other softwares out there, they're really, really built for teams. And I usually am not on a team. I have tried to use Notion with some of my clients, but a lot of them don't really get it. So then I just kind of give up and I'm like, all right, I'll just use it for me. So for me, as someone who's an individual who uses Notion, not just for business, but also for personal, it's a great tool for an individual to use. You do not have to have a team to use Notion and they don't have a ton of like collaborative tools, they do have them, but they're not forced upon you like some of these other platforms where it seems like it's really built for teams. So that was one thing that really, really drew me in as an individual who works by myself a lot. Having the individual options is really, really great. Okay, so the third reason, this is a big one, and a lot of other softwares are also free, but the pricing, having a free options as well as very, very inexpensive pro versions is really, really enticing. I have enough softwares that I pay for already uh, for being a business owner and having one that is free, easy to start and join and learn has been very, very helpful for me to continue using Notion. I was on the education plan for a while because I had a student ID email still, but unfortunately my school got rid of it. So I'm just on the basic free plan for now. I haven't found a need to upgrade, honestly, to the pro. If I was on a team, maybe I would, but Right now I'm just using the free plan. Okay, so another reason that I love Notion is it's a place really to use as a note-taking ability versus things like Trello and Asana and some of these, they're more task-oriented. This is really more uh, writing and document-oriented. It's really a wiki, a document. Instead of having a ton of different you know, Word documents or Google Docs, which I don't know if you've seen my video, I talked about how I replaced Google Drive with Notion, I don't use you know, Google Docs anymore. I don't use anything besides Notion to write long, long pieces of content. So for me, using it as a document, as well as, you know, a to-do list, that sort of thing, um, project management tool, that is an, another huge reason why I use Notion over some of these other apps. Number five is turning it into a website. Unlike some of these other project management tools, none, none of them can basically be publicized or pu um, 
published online. Notion actually has the opportunity to share all of its pages as a link so that you can actually go to it and use it as a website. I've used this all the time. In fact, my online directory is done through Notion. Having this as a marketer has been very, very helpful if I ever wanted to share. For example, I hosted a workshop earlier this year and I wanted to provide a link to all the resources from all of the people on the panel. So I sent everyone a Notion page that had all the direct links and that sort of thing. It was so slick. It was so easy to, to use. I could change anything. If I've already shared the link, I can quickly change it if there is an error and it automatically updates for everyone looking at the website. So for me, having it be able to be shared onto the web was a huge thing I never even realized I wanted. And that has been a huge factor for me. Okay. Number six, again, this is kind of a personal thing, but for me, if you look at my strengths finders, one of my biggest strengths is input, which is basically collecting information. As someone who likes to collect a lot of information, Notion is the ideal source for me. I like to have a way to organize all of the thoughts and things that I've taken over the years. And I do a combo of using Notion and Google Photos as the two places I store 95% of my content. Google Photos is mostly used for videos and photos as well as screenshots, that sort of thing. And then Notion is for anything text, anything that I have like PDFs, um, basically anything else goes into Notion. So I basically use those two softwares almost completely and don't use almost anything else. I'm trying to streamline it so that I don't have to use Google Drive, you know, anything else beyond that. It's not just a to-do list, right? Like it's a place where I store the information of things I've gathered all in one place that's easy for me to find as well. Having the systems in Notion, creating my 13 pillar system, which has been game changing. If you don't know what that is, check out my course, uh, Simplify Your Digital Life, which is also inside of Notion Foundations All Access. Um, I really walk through that 13 pillar system and how I organize it. Speaking of Notion Foundations All Access, number seven is monetizing. I'm going to be honest. One of the reasons that I have stuck with Notion so hard is I have been able to monetize this platform. Everything from creating Notion templates to selling Notion courses, I have been able to make money with this software. Now you could probably make money with other softwares, but I feel like Notion, because of the fact that you can buy and sell templates, the fact that there's so many people using it and a lot of people want to know about it, I have been able to make it as part of my business. And as somebody who has been in marketing for a long time, this was not something I was expecting to have happen. I, you know, found this software, loved it so much and was like, Hey, I could maybe, you know, utilize this software and, you know, make some money with it. And that has been super, super helpful for me to continue making videos for you guys is I've been able to, you know, monetize this YouTube channel. I've been able to uh, make money from teaching it. And that has allowed me to continue to share with you guys these videos. So that is something that I want to continue doing. And it's kind of a self-fulfilling thing. It's like the more content I make, the more people find out about Notion. Um, I can make more money so that I can continue to tell more people about Notion. It's like, it's a, it's a, a ever evolving flywheel that just kind of helps me continue to create these content because I'm not doing YouTube full time. Like I'm only making a couple hundred dollars a month, um, for AdSense. So then, you know, I, I'm making other money through some of the other ways that I'm doing Notion. I'm not doing Notion consulting, but I do a lot more marketing consulting. And so that's something that I still do. And so it's like, it's a supplement for me to allow me to continue with some of the things I'm doing in other parts of my life. So talking about that with like the entire Notion ecosystem, that it's kind of its own ecosystem. The next thing is I love the Notion community. So last year I became an official Notion ambassador. There's about 700 ambassadors worldwide and I got to join the Slack channel. I have gone to several of the, the networking calls that we do as ambassadors. And I was actually the first Minnesota Notion ambassador as part of the program. And there's now two of us. So I'm now friends with the other Notion ambassador who's local. But I think it's really cool because I have been able to connect and, and, and within that group, find all of the people that are some of my, I guess, Notion idols, people that I've been following on YouTube now for three years. You know, some basically any of the big Notion YouTubers are in that group. So it's cool if I ever wanted to DM them, I could. You know, I, it's allowed me to connect with people like Marie Poulin, who I had on the podcast and different people you know, from, from the Notion bar 
to lots of different people. We have had so many awesome people on this on this channel, and I hope to continue that in the future. But just, just meeting other Notion nerds and Notion geeks has been super, super fun. Along with that, creating my own community, um, this YouTube channel, as well as my two Facebook groups. We have uh, my marketing and business in Notion, as well as my ADHD and Notion group. That one is a lot bigger, and I post in there and do a lot of stuff in that group. So if you haven't joined either of those groups, they are down below. All right, number nine, this is the final reason, is they're constantly updating. Some of the other apps I mentioned don't have as many updates, and if they do, they're just kind of small little updates. I feel like Notion has been making big strides over the years. You know, they came out with AI last year. They, they're just doing a lot of big things and they're constantly taking feedback from the community. They're constantly, like their team is so nice. I've done calls with many of the staff of Notion and they're just good people. And I really like that. They really care about their audience. They don't feel like a big corporate company like some of these, you know, Microsoft and some of these that are coming out with products. I feel like I can actually talk to the Notion team. Just, it feels like like a small small business in some ways so that has been super super fun so to end this video I wanted to share some things that I do think notion should change or update and these are again coming from a power user that uses it all the time I just wanted to share a couple of things that I would put on my wish list that I hope get changed in 2024 I would say my number one request is when you're viewing something in gallery view, it shows like the status, but it doesn't show what the status is of. So you can see it here in my daily uh, habit tracker template. It just says not started. And so it doesn't like clarify what is not being started. They have added recently the option to hover over so you see what it is, but I still wish you could see it in the actual area. I will say before you couldn't even hover over it. So that is a new update that's been very helpful, but I still wish that you could see what it is without having to hover. Sometimes with properties and with databases, I wish that there was more settings of specific things. Like for example, if you start a new page, like within a database, I wish that there were settings that you could have almost like free pre-filled out options. For example, like you could have the icon already chosen. You could have all the stuff as almost like a template within a page because then I could just start adding more and I wouldn't have to go through and individually change all those every single time, especially if they're very similar. So I wish that there was more templates for making a new page within a database so that I don't, again, I feel like a lot of the times my time is spent on Notion just like tweaking and changing things that I wish had already been able to be like duplicated. I know this is really a small thing and I don't know how they could do this, but I really wish there was a delete all in the trash. You literally have to go through and individually delete every single page and I have thousands, so I have never done it. I really wish this was an option. I have this a lot on my desktop. I just click delete all it's gone. I think they do this as sort of a safety thing, but I wish that there's an option to like turn it on for those of us that really, really needed it. And also I've like heard that like, even if it gets deleted, it doesn't like officially get deleted, which I'm like, I don't know, that, that seems unclear to me. Obviously there's things that you don't want to accidentally delete it, but there's so, like, I used to download so many templates and stuff that I don't use anymore that are just cluttering up and it would take me hours to go through and delete everything. So highly recommend a delete all option for all the pages. Okay, the last one that I could think of is I wish that the subtask option was turned on by default or you could set it up so that whenever you create a new database, instead of me having to turn on subtasks every single time, I wish that was just automated and I could choose to have subtasks just be always on because I always have subtasks, always. I will not use a board without subtasks. So I always have that turned on, but I always have to go in individually and turn it on which is very annoying. I wish that was a setting that I could like have it just be permanently on. So those are probably the main ones that I can think of as someone who uses it a lot. I'm sure there's more, but those are just the little, again, little minor tweaks that I think could be changed as a Notion user that would make my life easier. I think some of the biggest changes this year was being able to change a ton of the different icons all at the same time. That has been so helpful. Oh, also I wish there was more icon colors. Eight is not enough for me. I, I have to, you know, utilize a lot of different colors. I wish there was more colors. I wish there was more icons. Those are like a huge thing that I use. So again, little things, but I wish that there was some updates for that. Anyways, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know why you use Notion or why you don't use Notion. Maybe you're, you're, you're trying to decide if you want to use Notion. I know I have so many videos. I have lots of trainings inside of my course, Notion Foundations All Access, which has literally literally hundreds of videos. It has a ton of all my templates. It has, um, I teach you how to make Notion templates, how to sell them, how to use Notion. I teach all the sorts of things in there. So definitely check that out. It's available below and 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.